Let's see, let's see how it goes. But yeah, Battle Boots is going. We've seen a lot of EU players play Battle Boots, like you said. Uh, we'll see how Munir takes it here in game one. We're going game one of the set on Small Brawl Haven. Let's get into it. Yeah, Azuria, another like very popular pick. So mm -hmm. I'm sure both these players have played against each other's characters yeah, multiple times yeah. already this tournament. So it's mostly sure. just going to be down to uh, just the player diff, I think. Mm -hmm. what 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 player has more experience versus the other so we see actually munir pop it off a lot more here playing Ooh. very aggressive with the guitars early on getting that recovery and the down air as well you know see what the, the, the Zuri versus tesco off stage is going to be fun to see because they're just the same six oh, yeah. they're, they're, they're both those n six mm -hmm. yeah those, those little grapples minimum oh. six dunks happen in this game okay well there we go <laughs> Beautiful grapple coming from Machete on the battle boots. Tossing, getting that uh, uh getting that weapon starve. But we see Manu Munir on sword. Ooh. He's trying to get Ooh. in a Qatar instead though. Yeah, dangerous game at the top here. Tesco is such like a vertical character. Like yeah. he just he, I don't know. But then at the same time, th that that battle beat sideline is covering a lot of that stage horizontally. Small bro even it might even cover the whole stage of a dash. So yeah. I don't even know. Munir's just gonna have to find his way around that somehow. He started Let's off see. very strong, Ooh. but you know, he's able to, uh, Machete was able to bring it back here pretty quickly. There and go. there we go, kill confirmed with that GC D-Light recovery. Very well played by Munir, but Munir is in red right now, so not looking too good for him. Mm. Katars are very good, you know, like if you're looking to build damage, I think Katars are up there as, as maybe the best weapon at doing that job. So yeah, if he's going to come back on any weapon, it will be Katars. It's just about finding the KOs, I think. Goes yeah, for, the for sure. There. Ooh, Ooh, nice end light. Oh, that kills. Lock. Kills. That kills. That's a small I don't know. Raven. This is small Raven. You're right. But yeah, I feel like Munir needs to find these Katars and stack up this damage early on and maybe go for, I don't know, like the sword earlier for a confirm or just even pop off more. I feel like he might throw this away, but he's getting comboed. Oh, like crazy no. with the battle boots right now. Oh, what? Oh, again. Yeah. Don't get it by another D light. Okay. Oh, How do you I'm play surprised. against that? I don't even know, man. <laughs> I'm surprised Machete didn't like go go. I don't know. I feel like he had the, the KO, but he decided to go for recovery instead. That's how many yeah. D light stairs have we just seen? I don't know. This whole stock is such a strong oh, okay. option. Oh man! Wow, very well yeah. played. So that Dang. first game was uh, <laughs> not looking too good for me. You never know the adaptation. You know we, we're in best of five sets, no best of threes. You know he's, he's got time to work yeah. out how to how to beat this weapon. Yeah, a yeah. Great sword might be the answer, I guess. It might be the answer. So we see Munir switching over to Jay Yun here, uh, opting that uh, Qatar out for the great sword. That might be, that might be more in his favor. Maybe he's more comfortable on the great sword here. But I feel like Tesca is such a fast character, and if he's not getting these reads on the great sword, it could kind of bite him back. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, great sword. I feel like even if you don't have the download on your opponent, you can just catch so many reads just because like one option will cover Ooh. like most of the dodges right it's like yeah but there we oh go oh my god beautiful reads coming out from moon here right now on the great sword there we go this is i feel like this is definitely needed here good switch up from moon here looking a little like pavelski's great sword earlier i was i was seeing that mm -hmm. coming out a surprising amount of great sword actually in this tournament not a weapon you see too often in one spot i've seen a decent amount today yeah which is good Ooh. to see nice uh let's confirm with the great sword there on moon here First stock going over to him as well. It's looking way better for him this uh, this game of the set. 100%. Oh, and that's going to be the side sig. <laughs> oh, the capture. Ooh, yeah. Yikes. Good side sig. The gauntlet sigs are really good too. Like off stage, you were talking about that end sig earlier. Um, it's it's so good. Battle boots, but he's hovering those battle boots. Those D light sairs are just a, such a good option and and reach so far. Has it's battle boots is really strong right now and machete is taking advantage of that for sure yeah i think honestly oh yeah, great sword God. is working out really well it's i feel like both really these well. two weapons are the most like un understood weapons or that's definitely not a word but you, see, you know what i'm trying to say yeah yeah like there's so much counterplay i think to both these weapons but just because you don't see them well you see valby's a lot but then you so mm -hmm. you know but great sword, yeah. you, just you don't see it a lot people don't really know what you can do and how to escape strings but like a lot of the time if you've ever seen the, the, the hardy mj propaganda on twitter you mm -hmm. will know yeah there's like you can fast forward jump you know wake up out of so many different things but we'll see if majesty starts incorporating that mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the great sword has so much potential in in the right hands, like Moonier and RDMJ, like you're like you're saying. Good uh good knockout on the last stock, even out the stocks here on Moonier and uh, Machete's side. But again, it can go either way. But the great sword has a lot more play here. I'm seeing than the uh, than yeah. the guitar, and there's a lot more of momentum on Moonier's side. He's getting a lot of these hits in, which is very good. Oh, okay. I think it might be the extra range that's really helping Moonier with the mm -hmm. with the great sword because the katars were like a very close range weapon right like you have to really get in and battle beats are so oppressive in yeah. that kind of range so to have great sword where you can kind of poke from further away and then yeah because it's like he gets one hit with that great sword and he's getting at least two more every single time like per engagement yeah and it's really those, working out for him those follow-ups are really good on moon here and he tries to go for that sword recovery to finish out the stock and That's there's a neutral thing that was definitely a play. The switch up to the the great sword, and and again, yeah, I agree with you completely. The range on the great sword is definitely doing an, uh, doing some work against these battle boots. The katars earlier was maybe too close uh, for comfort for Moonier, and was getting too much, getting too punished by the uh, by the battle boots early on. So it looks like he's staying on the great sword as he should, I feel like. But Machete's still sticking on the Tesca. We'll see how he adapts to the uh, the great sword in game three. Three, yeah, two, Muno was looking a lot more comfortable four. that game. And honestly, oh, yeah. I don't even, I don't think Machete should have left Demon Island open, because this map mm -hmm. with Greatsword to me feels like really good for that weapon. He just got all yeah. that range. He's got more range now to kind of sit back and poke away at his boots, you know, when he's got the Greatsword in his hands, and then also more room on the stage to to, to really extend those Greatsword strings. You know, when you get those like mm. five hit strings, carry all the great like across the stage. 100%. And we've seen him wow. hit some insane reads, but the side signature gets the first stock pretty early on as well. So Machete actually trading in the boots for some gauntlets in the first stock here, and it worked out very well for him. Yeah, he is beating those those boosted by by boots allegations right now because he deleted yeah. Moon's oh. stock with gauntlets. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Tactical uh tactical mis misinput there maybe, but uh. Goes for that reverse side air, and it, 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 there's another thing with Tesca. The recovery options aren't the best on Tesca too, and especially on a map like Demon Island, where you know the down air on the Great Sword can really just cover that side or anything else. Like I feel like it's a little bit harder, but he's also got that oh. that neutral stick option See, too. That's what I mean about Demon Island. You just have all that room on stage to just to really extend the Great Sword strings. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, but Machete is <gasps> struggling against the Great Sword. Oh, that could be it though. He's got his recovery. Only has a dodge here. Oh. oh, he didn't even get his dodge back. Hey, he tries nice. to get that with the down air. It was so close, but it worked out for Machete there. Okay, yeah. Machete has to. Oh, Muna even needs to take this stop quickly. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, nice I mean, weapon yeah, throw. Great weapon now throw. Getting that even. knockout. See. Taking on that great sword, using Demon Island to his advantage, trying to get these long reads here, but the Machete's kind of coming through them with the dodges. Two side lights followed up. The sidelight is so strong on Battle Boots. I feel like it just reaches so far. You can follow up with it so much. Yeah, probably one of the most oppressive like, moves in this entire game, I would say. Mm -hmm. And that D-Light too is so quick. I'm going to get in the dare. Machete with no dodge here. He manages to take stage control back though. Okay. Like I feel like stage control, especially right oh. now, is so important. That's going to do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Smart by Machete he to throw it backwards there with an active input. Even with the disadvantage, I feel like with the Demon Island stage being a lot longer and even the sides, but Munir was still lost uh, to the Test Cup. But I feel like we've seen a lot more gauntlet this round than uh, than previous games. So I feel like he was able to adapt very well and uh, do something that Munir wasn't expecting. Uh, a lot of side signature KOs there in that game too. And we're actually going back to Demon Island. So Machete is very comfortable on this map and knows that he can play around uh, these reads potentially. Yeah, I'm seeing Machete actually do a really good job of mixing up his dodges against the Great Sword because yeah. you know Great Sword has those. Well, people will oh say, if, "Oh wait, this is it for Moonin." He's yeah, he makes it back actually. Ooh. Gets in there into Sir. Ah, oh, and the ground one's gonna still not gonna do it actually. He's perfectly alive. dodged. Oh no! Oh, he missed the ground pound. That's one of the most impressive things that happens oh. here in Brawl. You know when you have the confirmed ground pound and it's like yeah. you just barely stage. clip the stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's unfortunate, but yo, Lock, it's he's barely touched. Machete's first stock is barely touched right now. Oh. What an insane push and how aggressive Machete was off stage too with those battle boots, catching Moonier every time, trying to get back on stage. This is exactly how you need to be playing battle boots in this matchup. 
Yeah, Moon is really gonna have to start putting in some work. That is not a good start because this is tournament. Well, not tournament stock yet, but tournament game at the very least. Oh yeah. no, yeah. it's gonna be tournament stock real soon by the looks of it. Oh okay. no. Finally gets armed. Go. Oh. Okay. Moon is really good with those weapon throws. He always like. You just find something. You know, a lot of the time you'll throw your weapon at your opponent, they'll like it'll hit the opponent or whatever. And you won't really get much off of that, but Moonyan always seems to find something. Not enough though. As he's yeah. on his final stock and Machete is not even in red. Yeah. I feel like Machete's sitting pretty comfortably this this uh this stock here, but and this is his tournament stock too. So I don't know. I feel like Machete did a really good job, like you said earlier, just adapting and, and switching up those dodges because oh, he's no, not getting red at all. Oh, Ooh, the, the, nice use of the neutral sig there. Oh gosh. Can he come back? Can he come back for this? Anything's possible, but it's looking pretty <laughs> hard. It's looking pretty hard. He's gonna have to get the scale right now. If he gets hit one more time, I'm making a decision. Right. Okay. Oh wait. Oh no, don't let him get back. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. here we go. Yeah, because he hasn't hit a lot of the... We see him a lot on the sword now, especially for that confirm, which he gets with that D-Light recovery. But he's not getting hit with these great sword reads anymore. He's 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 definitely doing a great job of switching up these dodges. So, yep. Yeah, it's that sport dodge. It's like the only dodge that isn't, you know, included in that 50-50. And Machete's mm -hmm. always like throwing it in there just to keep moving it on his toes. And it's working really well. And at this point, it's looking insurmountable, to be honest. Not going to do it yeah, quite 100%. yet, but will he make it back? Ooh. Okay. No, he goes back there Wait with the recovery <laughs> option. That could have done it. This is dangerous. One hit, I feel like, does it. Oh, the down yeah. sing. That's the first that down sing I've seen Yeah, but I think Machete well. just threw that. He knew he won. So it's like, you missed that. It, it doesn't yeah. matter anyway. But yeah, yeah, he'll be going on to fight. Simple. Next. Yeah, which is uh, exciting to see because we actually saw a simple blocking in the Tesca as well. So we might be able to see, or more than likely, we'll see a, a, a Tesca mirror here. Um, Later on in the game.